Uh, in this video, I'm going to share uh, some of the things that I do uh, to prepare my computer before I do a, uh, a complete system image. Now, uh, Windows 10 has some resources you can use, and I've used them in the past. Uh, nowadays, I'm uh, pretty much uh, sold on a Cronus 2 image 2018. And I've done some uh, videos already on how to create a system image in both uh, using uh, Acronis and Windows resources. But in this one, I just want to talk about uh, preparing the computer. So kind of like uh, you got your summer clothes and your winter clothes and when it's on the way, you put your summer clothes away. You usually wash them. You don't put them away all dirty, right? So when I uh, retrieve my system image, if I need it, hopefully I won't need it. I have in the past. But uh, most of the time it's just there, and I update it uh, frequently. Usually I'll do an update uh, on the system image every time I get a uh, new Windows uh, 10 update, okay, which I got uh, just recently. So just the procedures that I go through, I want to uh, point out that uh, right here. Type in defragment on the uh, Windows search here and you get this. So we'll run this as administrator. And notice I have two drives here, a C drive and an F drive. And notice uh, this is pretty much uh, good. Okay, it doesn't need any defragmenting which pretty much just uh, organize your data on your uh, on your hard drives to make the computer run a little bit smoother and I have it I have this set here if I go to change settings I have it set to weekly you can do it monthly or you can just do it whenever you want okay I have it set to week weekly and I don't need any defragmenting on my disk right now so I'll close this. Then I go to uh, disk cleanup. Then I run this as administrator. Click OK. And you see here it says disk cleanup is a calculating is calculating how much space you will be able to free on the hard drive. That's your main drive, the C drive. So you wait on this. And then it says you can use disk cleanup to free up 13.2 gigabytes of disk. Okay. So if you're short on space, this is good here. All the boxes are checked. Recycle bin is checked there. And I'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is. You click OK. So are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Okay, these are files that I really don't need. At least that's what it's telling me. And we'll let it do its thing here. You can see what it's cleaning there. Temporary files, internet files. Okay, and then some other things that I like to do here, go to all settings, and go to system, and then storage. Okay, so there's my two drives here. is change how we free up space automatically. So I'm going to click on this here. You can see that this is on storage and storage sense runs automatically when you're low on disk space. We cleaned up zero bytes this past month. Okay. So it automatically, automatically free space by removing files that you don't need. 
and this one I have it clicked here temporary files delete temporary files that may that my apps aren't using and then here delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over I have it set to one day now if you accidentally delete something and you want it back uh, you might make mistakes you might you might leave it for 60 days or you might do maybe you never <laughs> let me put never you can do it uh, yourself whenever you want I have it set to one day does it automatically and then if I want to free some space right now I go ahead and do it but I don't I don't really need it right now so I'm just gonna check out of this and then I like to do some uh, manual cleaning just in case uh, the settings that I have didn't work so I'm gonna hit, click the Windows logo in R and I'm gonna type in temp So these files right here are usually uh, temporary files. I call them junk files that uh, uh, Windows uh, 10 system uses up along with some other programs that you don't really need. So I'm going to uh, Control A, select them all, and then delete. So again, I'm doing this so that when I, if I, if I get to the point where my system is breaking down, uh, crashing and I want to uh, retrieve the system image uh, I have already something that's cleaned up okay so I deleted those again a Windows logo and R to run the run command this time this time I'm going to type uh, percent temp and then percent again Now notice here, here I've got a bunch of files that my regular maintenance hasn't uh, cleaned up yet. So again, I'm going to say Control A and then right click and delete. If the action can't be completed because the folder or a file in it is open in another program. Okay, so we can skip that. So again, I'll do the same with anyone that's in that situation. So continue. So there was only two files that uh, you couldn't delete. Now, I couldn't delete these because they're being used right now while I'm using while I'm uh, recording this video. Okay, so that's okay. I'll just leave them there for now. Again, uh, Windows logo and R to get the run screen here. Now I'm going to type in prefetch, hit enter. Here I, I only have one item. So let's see if this is being used. Uh, delete. Okay, so that's gone. So this section was cleaned up pretty good. So now I'm going to type over here in the search screen CMD. I want the command prompt. Run as administrator. And then here I'm going to type IP config forward slash flush DNS. successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. So these again are files that are not needed in your system. So that's gone. Okay, so again I go to this command prompt, CMD, and right click, run as administrator, and then Type in this command right here, DISMM, DISM dot execute, then space online, space again, before, uh, right before the forward slash cleanup, again, space between the image and the uh, forward slash, hit enter.
And this is checking the uh, computer for corrupted files. Going through the process, so this will take a while. And it might call for a restart. So I'll go ahead and uh, speed this up. Okay, the process is complete and uh, doesn't notify you about anything that was found. So we're good to go here. We'll close this. Okay, the next thing I want to do is go to the control panel. You can type control panel on the search screen. I have it already in my startup menu. And we're going to go to system. And then system protection here on the left. And configure. This is where you have your restore points in case uh, you're having issues with your computer and you want to go take it back, take the system back uh, to a point where it was working normally. So we click on configure. And you can see here I have uh, 1.52 gigabytes of space. So what I'm going to do here, uh, if you don't com if you don't monitor this uh, and you have it set kind of high, uh, this could take up a lot of space. I've known some people that let this go, and maybe uh, when Windows updates it changes this, and sometimes they have like 20 gigabytes here. Maybe they only have a, a hard drive of 80 gigabytes or something, so it's taking a lot of space. So here I'm going to delete this. Continue. Okay, so again, I'm going to leave it there, uh, I'll leave it at 2%. And usually I'll do this at the, at the end, because uh, what I do is I go ahead and scan. Okay, so I've already done that, I've already done the scanning. So then what I want to do is uh, create a restore point in case I have to go back to that particular point once I retrieve my system image, if I have to. So I'll click on Create. And you can title this whatever you want. I'm just going to put Point. It gives you a date automatically. And then click Create. Okay, so the point has been created. So again, if I have to retrieve the system image and then I run into issues a few days after that and I want to come back to this particular date, I can. Uh, so close this up. Okay, and then of course, uh, one of the last things I do is I go ahead and scan. Like I said, I've already done that. I've already done that, but uh, Windows Defender works out pretty good. You can do a full scan, custom scan, uh, whatever you like. I also have uh, ESET, Internal Security. really like this program. Scan your computer. And I've also got malware bytes on this one. I'm going to go ahead and, and do a scan of this. Eventually, I'm only going to be going to uh, Windows Defender. I wasn't too pleased with Windows Defender uh, a few years ago, but it seems like they're making improvements. So once I get 
once I'm satisfied with uh, Windows Defender, I'm pretty much going to stick to it and not uh, use the other ones. Because right now I'm paying for both of them. You, you can get the, the, the free versions, so I might stick with the free versions, but for right now, uh, I'm good to go with uh, what I've done with that. Now Windows uh, 10 also has another tool you can use. So we go to CMD, run as administrator, command prompt, and type in mrt.execute. And this is your malicious software removal tool okay that you can use click on next and again you can do a quick scan I'll, I'll, I've done a full scan already so I click on full scan and then I go hit on next and, and that can take uh, uh, five to ten minutes or so but I've already done that and that's kind of an abbreviated uh, process of what I do you know, like I said I, 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 I go ahead and clean up uh, on a weekly basis so I don't really have too many uh, files that I need to uh, get rid of but I'd like to have a clean system image saved once I decide to do it and then again just a uh, uh, overview again yeah, once you decide that you want to uh, do the uh, create your system image go to uh, so for Windows, you'll go to the control panel. Okay, so again, type in control panel on the uh, search there, and then go up here to backup and restore, and then create system image. And I believe I've done one of these before. And there you have it. A system image is a copy of the drives required for Windows to run. It can also include additional drives. A system image can be used to restore your computer if your hard drive or computer ever stops working. However, you can't choose individual items to restore. Okay, so it's you can only retrieve the whole thing, whatever you saved. Okay, and then you can select. Obviously, at this point, at this point, you'd have to go ahead and. Uh, plug in your uh, external hard drive okay or USB whatever you're going to use now you can't you can save uh, a system image to the uh, uh, C drive but again uh, if that C drive fails then what are you going to do okay so you can do both you can and I've done the videos on how to save to the uh, to the C drive by creating uh, a partition on it uh, or you can create a partition on a uh, external one okay but anyway at this point you would you would go ahead and plug in your external drive and then uh, select it it should appear here okay hit refresh if it doesn't and then select it and go to next and so on okay but I've done some videos on that already and the other thing I want to uh, point out, uh, one, if you get to the point where you need to retrieve the system image, you need to go through this particular process. Uh, if you're using Windows 10 resources to create it, then you have to use Windows uh, 10 resources to, to retrieve it. So we would go to uh, all settings over here. Go to updating security and we go to recovery okay and here you have it on advanced startup startup from a device or disk such as a USB and so on change your PC's firmware settings change your Windows startup settings or restore Windows from a system image this will restart your PC. Okay, so here you would just click on restart now and it's going to start and it would take you to another menu and you just follow the, the link to the uh, to the system image. Now, 
in my case, like I said, I've been using uh, a Cronus True Image. The one is a test trader. Okay, so we, uh, we, we create the backup again, and, and I won't go through this. I've done a video on this already. And then I would uh, I would use the same software here to, to retrieve it. Okay, so if you're saving your system image using Windows resources, then again, you have to go through Windows resources to, to retrieve it. In my case, I would go through uh, a Cronus 2 image 2018. And while I'm here, I would also like to point out that uh, in Cronus True Image, I do have a system cleanup. So I can also use this icon right here, this uh, tool to clean up my computer. All the stuff that I did manually, I can do it also with this. Uh, other other software you can use, of course, are CC cleaners. There's several out there. Uh, I like to do it manually because I can see exactly what's there when I when I when I type in temp files, uh, I can actually see if there's something there. So if the uh, if I use any software and it missed something, I can get it. I can delete it manually. But anyway, these are just a few things that I do before I uh, create my system image. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.